This is Neha Sinha with Lab 11, the Choose Your Own Adventure Lab. I chose to do this lab on an analysis of a tennis serve. The main problem I intend to address is how much force a tennis player administers through her racket on a tennis ball during a serve. To solve this and present my results, I will use physics principles such as the momentum principle and the energy principle. The use of these models will be clearly stated throughout the video as they become relevant. Here in Tracker, I recorded a friend hitting a tennis serve. At the top of the screen is a calibration stick set at 6.7 centimeters, the diameter of a standard tennis ball. The ball is tracked from when it descends from throwing it upward to when uh, to after the racket impact when it leaves the screen. Here are the graphs created in Excel using the tracker data that depict the motion of the ball in the x and y direction relative to time. The circled portions of the graph cover the time over which the ball descends after being thrown in the air. The path of the throw is animated here. There is no change in the x direction. In the y direction, the ball falls with increasing velocity. This animation shows the path of the tennis ball after being hit by the racket. On the graph, you can see the ball moves rapidly in the negative x direction and continues to fall in the y direction due to gravity. Here are the initialized conditions calling various programs. Here's the setup for the visual model in Python. The screen is set to a specific size and the tennis ball is set as a colored sphere. There is an established trail to mark the path of the ball and an initialization for, the graph, for a graph to be created. The delta t is set to 0 .033 seconds, the same as in tracker. The initial position of the ball before impact is shown here. The mass of a standard tennis ball is 57 grams. Here's g, the universal gravitational constant. This is the initial gravitational potential energy at the start of the video, and this is the gravitational potential energy at the point where the racket hits the tennis ball. This is the kinetic energy at that point, using pot position and time values from tracker to find the velocity. And this is the kinetic energy at the start of the video. Here are the formulas for kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy are applied. Here, I imported the data from Tracker. After initializing arrays, the data was put through a while loop to calculate the x and y components of velocity. Time starts at 0.233 seconds because that is the moment of impact. Another while loop set is set up and here individual velocities are obtained. In calculating momentum and the change of momentum, it is possible to find the net force. This is accomplished by applying the momentum principle. Here are the energy calculations for the entire video. A plot command is called to show a graph of the data, seen here. As you can see, the energy remains relatively constant in the beginning with gravitational potential energy changing slightly. However, the moment of impact is clear when there is a sudden spike in kinetic energy, shown in red. Here is an initialization of energy just before impact, and here are the calculations of energy upon impact. It was necessary to calculate this separately from the calculations used to graph the data uh, in order to determine the work done by the racket. The position of the ball and the trail are updated, and so is time, and so is the index. It was necessary to make the rate small so that the model, model runs slow enough to see what is happening. So here's the model. As you can see, it follows the motion of the video, where it falls first before being hit by a racket. Python printed the net force and change in energy, because according to the energy principle, change in energy of a system is equal to, uh, in, where here the system is the tennis ball, is equal to the work done by the surroundings, which is in this case the tennis server and her racket. So the work done by the tennis player through her racket during the serve was about 29.47 joules. So, in conclusion, the energy and momentum principles can be applied in real life situations such as, such as sports analysis to determine, the, determine statistics and information about players. This was shown here in an analysis of a tennis player serve. Thank you for watching.